What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel only if you want to. If you want the latest and greatest city dope reactions, subscribe. But look, man, we got these celebrities who no one wants to stay with. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this video. I already know, based off here, like celebrities nobody wanna be with, but y'all be thinking like looks always matter. They it 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 only goes so far. Who wouldn't want to date a star? They're rich, usually attractive, and have famous friends. But despite the advantages, some of Hollywood's hottest just can't hold on to a significant other. Here are the celebs who no one allowed. wants to stay with. There was a time Tom Cruise was basically the king of Hollywood, but after his divorce from Nicole Kidman, his love life has been less than ideal. And a beautiful marriage and all of those things that came out of it and two beautiful children and... The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> he rebounded with Penelope Cruz, but they split after three years together, with Radar Online reporting that Penelope dumped Cruz over his involvement with the Church of Scientology. Cruz then oh. famously moved on with Katie Holmes. The pair tied the knot in 2006 and shared daughter Surrey. But in 2012, Holmes filed for divorce. Since their split, Cruz hasn't been in any serious relationships, at least none that the world knows about. Mm. After Madonna and Sean Penn divorced, the material girl got dumped a lot. Vanilla Ice dated Madge in 1990, but says he dumped her upon release of her flop book, claiming, I broke up with her after she printed that book because I was hurt. We were in a relationship, yet it looked like she was screwing all these other people. Oh. Tupac Shakur also dumped Madonna, writing to her in a letter obtained by TMZ, for you to be seen with a black man wouldn't in any way jeopardize your career. If anything, it would make you seem that much more open and exciting. But for me, at least in my previous perception, I felt due to my image, I would be letting down half of the people who made me what I thought I was. Uh. Next came Dennis Rodman, with whom Madge went to great lengths to try to conceive a baby. And let's not even start with her revolving catalog of young backup dancers. Rita Ora has spent some time on both sides of heartbreak. She famously caused Rob Kardashian's first social media meltdown after ending the relationship with him that she wasn't even sure she was in. Then she dumped her collaborator and boyfriend of one year, Calvin Harris, after he helped her pen almost an entire album. Some decisions she made crazy, but she works incredibly hard. <laughs> I wish you would pull off on a plug like that on me. Goddamn, I done helped you do this, and then you just, oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of the relationship coin in 2015, Aura began dating Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker, but it didn't last long, with Barker allegedly telling the Mirror that he ended the three-week fling because he didn't want to be in a serious relationship. Since then, Aura's had a series of relatively lower-profile romances, like her brief public affair with actor Andrew Garfield. For The Sun, Garfield reportedly dumped her because he wanted to keep things more private. Following her divorce from Bruce Willis, Demi Moore hasn't had a ton of luck in love. She married Ashton Kutcher in 2005 and they separated in November they 2011, got with reports abound that Kutcher cheated on Moore on their sixth anniversary. They Ooh. finalized their divorce in 2013. Since then, Moore's had short-lived romance. Bro, he couldn't pick any other day to cheat. Like, you couldn't pick any other day. Like, that just made it a whole lot. I ain't condoning that, but I'm just saying, bro, you could have picked any other day, dude. This is with restaurateur Harry Morton and musician Sean Friday. Her most highly publicized relationship was with art dealer Vito Schnabel in 2012. But more recently, however, things may be looking up in Moore's love life. In late 2018, Radar Online reported that Moore was dating stylist Masha Manzuka, even raising Manzuka's daughter together. Moore has yet to comment on the reported romance. It's not easy being the biggest pop star in the world. In the documentary Lady Gaga 5'2", the singer revealed that all of her professional success up to that point had come at the cost of her love life, claiming, I sold 10 million records and lost Matt. I sold 30 million and lost Luke. I did a movie and lose Taylor. It's like a turnover. This is the third time I've had my heart broken like this. Gaga was apparently referring to exes Matthew Michael Williams, Luke Carl, and ex fiance Taylor Kinney. Carl admitted to Black Book in 2012 that Gaga's lifestyle didn't sync up with his own. Kinney, meanwhile, possibly wasn't as invested in the relationship as the singer was. Gaga told CBS Sunday Morning in 2016, I think women love very hard, and sometimes I don't know that that love is met with the type of dignity that we wish it would be met with. It gets so out of hand the way yes. everyone handles things. Jennifer Aniston is the tabloid mascot for Heartbreak, starting with the end of her marriage to Brad Pitt. The couple married in 2000 and divorced in 2005 as he got cozy with Angelina Jolie. Aniston rebounded with Vince Vaughn, who she dated for a year, then bounced to John Mayer from 2008 to 2009. Mayer dumped her, but told Rolling Stone a year later, I've never really gotten over it. It was one of the worst times of my life. 
Oh, Aniston and Justin Thoreau dated next and tied the knot in 2015. They announced their split in 2018, though it's unclear who pulled the plug. Still, Aniston takes it all in stride. There's so much more that's beautiful in a human being. She told Vogue in 2008, just because at this stage my life doesn't have the traditional framework to it, the husband and the two kids and the house in Connecticut, it's mine. And if you don't like the way it looks, then stop looking at it. It's almost inconceivable to think Halle Berry would have relationship trouble, but it's... Come on. Her first... I knew she was gonna be in here. You know who else gotta be in here? J-Lo gotta be in this joint, too. Husband, baseball pro David Justice, told people that Barry always thought he was cheating during their four year marriage. And Barry said their 1997 split devastated her so much that she contemplated taking her own life. Oh. She will say some things that are, that are very disparaging once the relationship is over that may not necessarily be true. Next came singer Eric Benet, to whom she was married from 2001 to 2005 yeah, when he admitted that. to cheating on her per the Daily Mail. Barry then Why rebounded look alike? with model Gabriel Aubrey. The couple welcomed daughter Nala, but they split in 2010. Barry then dated actor Olivier Martinez in 2011, married him in 2013, and welcomed a son, Maceo. Barry and Martinez each filed for divorce in 2015 after Martinez hit a paparazzo with their son's car seat, per TMZ. In 2017, Barry confirmed she was dating Alex DeKid, but Us Weekly reported that just months later, the couple had split. I've got two kids. My life is so full. I don't have time to worry about what random people think or don't think about me. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call or chat online with the National Suicide Prevention Line at 1-800-273-TALK-8255. Facts. And that's real right there. But it looked like, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, everything on the outside ain't what it seems, people. You know what I'm saying? You also have to be a, a, a pretty decent person. You don't have to be a perfect person. And everybody got their, you know what I'm saying, pitfalls and things about them. It's not about being perfect, none of that stuff, man. It's about being one with that other person, man. When you, when you find that motherfucking person. It's not all about the looks either. You know what I'm saying? You look at all these celebrities and stuff. Oh, yeah, they're so appealing. They're beautiful. They're this and that. You know, and... They relationships don't last, man. That stuff is just skin deep. It's about the actual person too as well. You know, we all got our preferences, but at the same time, look a little bit deeper into the skin, man. You know, real talk. But look, man, I'll see you on the next video. Like I always say, man, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. Y'all stay original, man. I'm out. Say you bouge now, show.